Hi friends, this is Miss Anna from the Hopewell branch, and Miss Connie and Miss Brianna were kind enough to let me join in on the fun for National Poetry Month. Today, I get to share with you information about Jacqueline Woodson. Jacqueline Woodson is an American writer of books for children and adolescents, as well as adults. While she's written books in a traditional style, she's also written stories using poetry techniques such as repetition, alliteration, rhythm, and rhyme. Jacqueline Woodson has received numerous honors and awards for her many books. She was given the Margaret A. Edwards Award for Lifetime Achievement in Writing for Young Adults, the St. Catherine Drexel Award, and the Hans Christian Andersen Award. From 2018 to 2019, she was the National Ambassador for Young People's Literature. In 2020, she was awarded a MacArthur Fellow. Woodson also served as the Poetry Foundation's Young People's Poet Laureate from 2015 to 2017. She now lives in Brooklyn with her family. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's go ahead and take a look back at Jacqueline Woodson's childhood and her pathway to becoming a writer. Jacqueline Woodson was born on February 12, 1963, in Columbus, Ohio. Her parents separated soon after she was born, and as a child, she ended up splitting her time and growing up in Greenville, South Carolina, and Brooklyn, New York. She loved the two places, especially for their differences. The South, with its flora and its laid-back vibe, and how it contrasted the never-stopping moving bustle and cultural diversity of Brooklyn. From an early age, Jacqueline loved writing. When she was three, her older sister taught her to write her name. However, Jacqueline went beyond that. She wrote her whole name. Meticulously, she wrote out Jacqueline Amanda Woodson. She describes that moment in a powerful quote. I just love the power of being able to put a letter on the page and that letter meaning something. As she got older and learned more words, she loved to write stories anywhere she could. She would take chalk and write stories on the sidewalk. She would write little stories in the margins of her books. She would even write on her bags, on brown paper bags. And she even wrote on her shoes. There was one time she actually wrote her name in graffiti on the wall of a building, which got her into a little bit of trouble with her mother. Jacqueline also loved to tell stories as a child. She's even said herself that they were more lies or tall tales than stories, but she loved to see people's reaction while she told her wild stories. She talks about how her fifth grade teacher really helped her to learn how to take her imagination and put it onto paper as a story. Jacqueline's first poem was about Martin Luther King Jr. She wrote the poem when she was in grade school, and it was so good the teachers initially did not believe that it was her writing. Once they realized she had in fact written it, she was properly congratulated for her, her creation. Growing up, Jacqueline spent much of her time at the Washington Irving branch of the Brooklyn Public Library. She would go there every day after school with her older brother and sister, as well as her younger brother. As she read the books available at the library, she started to notice that the books didn't have characters like her. There was a lack of diversity. As she got older, she discovered authors Toni Morrison, Virginia Hamilton, and James Baldwin. These authors became her favorites as well as her inspiration. James Baldwin especially was a big influence on Jacqueline Woodson. He wrote about people in the city to which she could closest relate. Jacqueline started writing her first novel while attending classes at Adelphi University. That book, Last Summer with Maison, however, wasn't published until seven years later in 1990. 
through taking an additional writing class, working constantly on her craft and editing her work, as well as the ongoing encouragement from her advocates, Jacqueline Woodson's Last Summer with Maison became the book that started it all for her, as well as representing the exact kind of book she wished was there for her when she was a young girl and searching for characters to whom she could relate. She has gone on to write over three dozen books for younger children, kids in middle grades, young adults, as well as adults. Let's take a look at five of her titles that have a focus on verse and poetry, as well as one picture book inspired by a poem. The Other Side a picture book published in 2001. Written in a lyrical narrative, two girls, one white and one black, gradually get to know each other as they sit on the fence that divides their town. Locomotion, published in 2003. In a series of poems, 11-year-old Lonnie writes about his life. After the death of his parents, separated from his younger sister, living in a foster home, and finding his poetic voice at school. Show Way, a picture book published in 2005. The making of show ways are quilts which once served as secret maps for freedom-seeking slaves is a tradition passed from mother to daughter in the author's family. A character from the book writes poems which are made into songs and stitched into art. Each Kindness, a picture book published in 2012. Written in expressive, free verse, when Ms. Albert teaches a lesson on kindness, Chloe realizes that she and her friends have been wrong in making fun of new student Maya's shabby clothes and refusing to play with her. Brown Girl Dreaming, Woodson's memoir written in verse published in 2014. Raised in South Carolina and New York, Jacqueline Woodson always felt halfway home. In vivid poems, she shares what it was like to grow up as an African American in the 1960s and 1970s. The Day You Begin, a picture book published in 2018. This book is actually inspired by a poem found in Woodson's memoir, Brown Girl Dreaming. Other students laugh when Rigoberto, an immigrant from Venezuela, introduces himself, but later he meets Angelina and discovers that he is not the only one who feels like an outsider. What I've shared with you today is just a little bit of information about Jacqueline Woodson. I encourage you to look at her website JacquelineWoodson.com or check out the book Jacqueline Woodson by Laura Sullivan from the Mercer County Library. There's lots of great information in there and more stories about Jacqueline Woodson and her life and her writings.